it's a hot one <laughs> or it's going to be it's early Saturday morning and I'm off to the River Cluid Ooh. just making my way to Denby Bypass heading out to Denby towards the River Cluid Avon Cluid anyway see you in a minute bit of a breeze at the moment but it's going to get really hot today Well, I'm on Debbie Bypass now, um, about three quarters of the way, then I'll be turning off onto the footpath, it'll be a bit quieter as well. don't like walking along this bypass. Something goes wrong with a car or a wagon, they have to suddenly swerve off the road. Uh, I don't like the speed that they go as well. So the sooner I'm off this bypass, the better. This walk I'm going to do today, it's a, I don't know, it's about six mile, seven mile perhaps. It's not a very long walk, but in this weather, like I said, it's not too bad at the moment, but it's going to get... Oh! Oh! Bloody hell, they overtook that tractor then. There was a car, there's two cars coming this way. Oh, going that way, I should say. Nearly a head-on smash then. That's why I don't like this bypass. I tell you, they're bloody mad on it. Like I say, it's only about six mile, not very far, but in this weather, it's going to get really warm in about an hour or two, so I've got plenty of water on board, so I'll, as soon as I turn off this bypass, the better. Anyway, I'll see you in a minute. Right, it's just turned off, as you can hear the <laughs> going past the back there. Just turned off the uh, bypass. Um, don't like that. <laughs> um, it's about three quarters of the mile. Um, it's, it's actually about a mile long, but it's about uh, three quarters of the way, and then you turn off. Then you, I could carry on, come to the roundabout, <coughs> but I'd make it a bit of a detour past the sewage works. I tell you, if you ever visit Denby and you fancy a walk, have a walk past the sewage works. It's a, it's a, it's, 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 it's one of these things that. It'll be on your bucket list. It's a thing to do. Not. <laughs> Especially in this weather, it's going to be absolutely stinking. It stinks to high heaven normally. But it'll absolutely be minging today. So, <laughs> past the sewage works. And then I'll be um, by um, Eglis Wen, uh, with church, whatever. And just cross the road, I come out by Brookhouse then, Brookhouse Mill. And then turn off and it'll be, I'll be on the path then, country, nice and quiet, a riverside walk until I reach the, uh, the River Cluid. And I'll probably head on towards Lowenny Hall, um, and then it's like a circular route then it heads back. Um, I'll be turning off in a minute down the fields towards the sewage works. Um, I may make my way back on uh, Rithin Road rather than the bypass. Anyway. Don't like that bypass, and we'll be turning off in a minute past the infamous sewage works. There was smell of vision although the wind is blowing in this direction. Bloody hell! That is bad. <laughs> the sewage works. It's a must-have. You've got to, if you visit Denby, you've got to walk past the sewage works. <laughs> it's the highlight of the day. <laughs> wow. one of them. 
There's about, I think about four of them or something. Full of cack. <laughs> there you have, you can not only smell it, you can taste it. Woo! Anyway, <laughs> keep going. At least the wind. Actually, the wind's dropped now. I was going to say the wind was blowing in my face. If I get a bit higher up, all the smell would be blowing that way. There's uh, Dimby. Denby Town, or oh, a bit of it anyway. Nice shot of the uh, quarry from here. There. Uh, what is it? There. Denby Quarry. And a glorious day. Like I said earlier, it's going to get hotter and hotter. Wow. Anyway, I'm heading towards Avon Cluid, River Cluid. That's where Glus went. Or Whitchurch. It's a bird cackling away there. Should be, uh, well, depending. Oh, God. <laughs> Absolutely stinking. Yeah, plenty of <clears throat> wildlife on the uh, banks of the Cluid. Hopefully, I'll get uh, some shots of them. Wow, the wind's blowing that way now. It's uh, taking the smell away. Anyway, that's the highlight of the tour the sewage works. Anyway, we're heading towards Brookhouse Mill now. That's it, the smell's gone, it's all blowing that way. Oh, whew, thank God for that! Just passed it, I'm just waiting. Turning off now, heading towards Brookhouse. Brookie! <laughs> I used to watch that, Brookside. Saturday, I used to watch the omnibus. Brookie, Brookside. Really good. Wow, thistles. Anyway, come out after the, uh, this short path by the Brookhouse Mill. And I'll be turning off again then. Nice riverside walk. Hopefully, no cows. Wow, it's dark in there. Whew. Although the camera probably not showing it up. It's pretty dark in here. Had one or two cold ones in that place. And I don't know whether they still do it, but when you finish your pint and you say fill it up, they give you a fresh glass. That's the type of place it or it used to be. They don't use the same glass. They used to give you a fresh one. Anyway, turn off now. Drag go. Red dragon. Two of them. Die Drag go. <laughs> Anyway, turning off, hopefully. You've got to watch a lot of these um, styles and stuff this time of year. Oh, I think get over that. As you can see, they get pretty overgrown. They're not maintained, these farmers. A lot of them, they don't give a damn about the styles and stuff, which they should do. They're supposed to, you know, the right of way on their land, they're supposed to maintain them, but some of them, they don't bother. Oh, it's a welcome breeze. That's heading on towards Rel, Rithin and what have you, just uh, for your information. And there's the Cludians in the background there. And in my rucksack today I've got an assortment of drinks. Um, I've got sports and uh, electrolyte drinks which is going to replace salts and minerals and god knows what. Little and often. Oh, 
Oh yes. Don't wait until you're feeling thirsty. Just little and often because you actually get to the point where you are feeling thirsty and you're dehydrated. Not a good thing. Especially walking on a day like this. So little and often. Like I say, I got sports and electrolytes. So that basically, and I got my phone and that's all I've got. Oh, also I got what I like to carry around is that the old sweat but it hasn't come to that at the moment there's been a nice breeze so anyway like I say with your fluids plenty of fluids but little and often anyway let's get going crossing the crossing the river now not much of it anyway surprise in this weather Right, do you realise what I had to do just to get that shot? So go through the gate, open it, go through the gate, close it, set up the camera, go back, open the gate, close it, walk back a bit, walk towards the gate, open it, close it, and then <laughs> that's the shot. Things I do, eh? All right, this next field is uh, cow territory. The last time they were, um, the lecky fence was out. Oh, they've cleared all these trees too. Can I get over this stile? Yeah. There's a ford there where the cows cross from one field to another. Oh, there's a pile of trees here. Oh, there's a bit of it left there. Load of firewood for some month. No cows today, good. Got the lecky, how's oh, it the lecky fence out? Watch the river. Very low. That is not a river, that is a stream now. Yeah, the lecky fence is still up. As you can see there. Which I ain't gonna touch. Just in case it's. Oops. Kick the camera then, just in case it's live. So, anyway, getting across here, it's about four inches of muck. But it's nice and dry today. All right, not far off now from the um, Sandernog Road. Well, I say not far off, probably about a mile, something like that. Which <laughs> that isn't far off for me. Anyway, I'm safe from the cows at least. No sign of them today. They were all in this field as well. Anyway, nice riverside walk now. I'll be reaching the uh, Landernog Road. I've just crossed that over the bridge and then I'll be on the banks of the Cluid. <coughs> River Cluid might head on towards Flowenny Hall and then make my way back, make a bit of a decent walk of it. So, let's keep going. That is very low. That is just a trickle. Be interesting to see what the Cluid's like. Recent walk, well I say recent, one of my last walk walks. Well actually it wasn't one of my last walks, it was one before anyway. <laughs> to cut a long story short. Um, it was flooded on the banks of the Cluid, you may have seen the video. When I was making towards Flowenny Hall. You can see the difference there. It's a lecky fence, I don't know if you can make it out. Well, you can, you can see the grass there, and the grass there, you can see the line. 
Shows you how much these cows, how much they eat. There's a lecky fence running across, so I'll just show you. Anyway, uh, yeah, it was flooded, and I was trying to get to Llewenny Hall, which I'm heading towards now, and I couldn't make it. I got about three quarters of the way, something like that. See the difference there? And uh, I could just couldn't make it, but <laughs> guaranteed it's not going to be flooded today. No chance. No chance at all. But like I say, it'd be interesting to see what the actual fluid is like, the actual river fluid is because that's a pretty wide, deep, fast flowing. So we'll see what it's like. Obviously it's gonna be low, but how low is the thing? Not far off now, probably about half a mile, something like that. You may hear one or two cars, that's a Flanderno road. That's heading back towards Denby. The Eglis Wen there, or a bit of it, if I can find it, there. It's an Eglis Wen. And there's cars here, I don't know. If I captured the... Yeah, just about to see that. That's the Slandurnog Road, which heads to Slandurnog, amazingly enough. But uh, I'll be crossing that in a minute, I'll be going over the bridge and then I'll be leaving the road and heading on towards the, uh, the banks of the Cluid. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, just about to uh, join the main road now, Flandernog Road. Turn right just over the bridge and I'll be turning off then on the banks of the Cluid. And they're heading towards me now and I'm on the main road but I would be very, very wary of entering that field with these cows in this weather. I don't know why but they're very, um, well, very young. Oh, I thought there was a gap in the hedge there. But, um, they, they will come at you for some reason. They're coming at me now. They trample you to death, man. No, I would not enter that field. And I'm not afraid of them, but they're so big if they attack you, you know, you just, <laughs> you wouldn't outrun them, put it that way. But, uh, yeah, anyway, just heading towards the bridge now and I'll be turning off. Just a distance there, just over that bridge. And now I'll be heading towards the Cluid. Avon Cluid, River Cluid. Let's see what wildlife I can get on camera to. Crossing over the bridge. Just left the uh, Thunderna Road now. I'll just head towards the banks of the Cluid. See what the water level's like. Definitely not going to be flooded today. Sorry, ladies. <laughs> I'm in a shelter under the uh, tree there. Sorry to disturb you. Wow. Stinks of sheep doodads. Bloody hell. Mm. Let's have a look at the level. It's low, but not too bad. As you can see, very still. That is the Avon Cluid. River Cluid. To be expected to be low, obviously, but I thought it would have been a bit lower, to be honest. Sorry, girls. You can go back to your shelter now. Can't blame them. Nice spot under there, too. Anyway, heading towards Thoweny Hall now. Yeah, like I say, one of my walks. I got about three quarters of the way. And I just couldn't make it. It's actually on video, if you, you've probably seen it if you're a regular. But uh, yeah, anyway. Breeze is dropping and it's warming up. 
keep going. That's my motto. <laughs> and when I'm on my mountain climbs, onwards and upwards. <laughs> anyway, keep going. Having a conversation with them. Same to you and all. You. And same to you. You looking at me? Probably they're upset because I've shifted them from their, uh, their shelter, nice little sheltered spot. It's probably telling me to bugger off. I'm going to cop it again now. All that lot under the shelter there. Can't blame them, can you? All sheltering out the, out the sun. Nice spot, but too. They're all going to play out with me now. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs>